Hey guys, what's up? It's Shelby, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I have new hair. Um, I dyed it yesterday, and it is a little wet because I did um, re-dye a few places that I missed. So, but, um, I did dye my hair. Um, I love it. I've never dyed, like, all my hair before. I usually just do, like, the ends or, like, highlights, so this is definitely very different for me. Um, I kind of match my wall back there, but that's okay. But today I have a spring makeup tutorial for you guys, seeing it is getting nice out finally, unless you're in Michigan because it's supposed to snow again. Anyways, <laughs> um, it is actually pretty nice out, um, so seeing it is getting nice out and spring is coming, I thought I would give you guys a little tutorial, get in the spirit of spring because I absolutely cannot wait. I'm so sick of the cold and the snow, I am ready for warm weather. <laughs> So, um, yeah, let's just get right into the tutorial. So, obviously, first I'm going to prime my eyes with the iHeart Color Eye Intensifying... iHeart Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. Okay, now that we are primed, I'm going to go in with our eyeshadow now. So I'm going to go in with two different palettes today. I'm going to go in with the Pro Fusion Cosmetics Berries palette. And I'm also going to go in with the Bad Habit Athena palette because I like this purple. I like the purple in this one more than I like the purple in the Berries palette. You can obviously use the purple in the Berries palette. It is fine. But I like the way that this one is, like the one in the Bad Habit one is a little bit more pastel where the one in the um, Berries one is just a little bit more like... Um, darker I guess so I'm gonna take the flat side of this brush first and I am going to take the purple and I'm just going to outline where our cut crease is going to be and yes this is going to be a double cut crease um, I love the way these look and this is my favorite way of doing it because then you don't get eyeshadow everywhere so then taking the other side I'm gonna go into the berries palette and I'm going to take the shade Disco and mix it with um, what is this called? Jive. And I'm just going to go in with this and run it through my crease. Okay, and then again taking the other side and going into Jive and then just placing that in my crease. Like right against that line and bringing it up just a little bit and then going in and blending it out just to add some pink and then again using doing the same thing taking this and taking the shade justice from the Athena palette which is the purple and placing this right along the edge of that line pretty much just going over that line that we created a couple times just like that this look is super simple with eyeshadow like I'm so excited so now I'm just gonna go in with a concealer this is the I didn't close that very well last time this is the LA colors conceal it concealer I have mine in the shade light um, this is actually a really good concealer and it's only like a couple dollars at like family dollar or something it's like and it's actually not that bad I don't really use it under my eye but like to cut my crease and stuff and like I use it to like carve out my eyebrows it's really good for that Okay, so I take it on just like a little brush like this. Um, this is a Real Techniques brush. I don't know. This is a detailed brush. So what I like to do is I like to place it like a thick line across my lash line and up onto my lid and then I look up and around. I pretty much do that and then I take more on my brush and just follow the line that we created. And then I like to go over the concealer just with my finger. Just tap it out. Then I'm just actually going to just take a pressed powder. I'm going to use the Stay Matte um, in the shade Neutral. I didn't grab a brush for this though. And I just take it on a little flat brush and then set my lid with it. Um, you could use a white shadow with from an eyeshadow palette. The ones I'm using just don't. I don't want to dip into another palette, so. 
I'm just going to, again, go back in with the purple on the edge of this brush and very lightly just redefine that purple and the line, being super, super careful. Just going to do the same thing on my bottom line. I'm taking the purple color and I'm going to go like this across the lash line. This has been my favorite, like, go-to cut crease look lately, like with any color. And then just lightly wing it out. I'm just going to take a smaller brush and go into Jive and Disco again and blend it together. Just so that they are corresponding colors. And I'm also going to just take the purple and mix the pink with it, the Jive color, and just run it under my lash line. And I also am connecting it to that little wing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the shade Shimmy, which is this like super golden yellow color in the Berries palette. And I'm going to pop it on my inner corner because I think that purple and yellow together just are a gorgeous combination. I'm going to spray this a little bit actually. so pretty okay i'm gonna go do this eye off camera and i will be back for some face and lips okay so i finished this eye did some mascara and stuff i used the wet and wild lash renegade mascara i added two coats and then i also used the um avon glimmer sticks and i used the shade smoky diamonds for my top waterline and brown sugar for my bottom waterline so yes moving on to the face so i'm just going to go in with a little contour this is the highlight and contour one by profusion and i'm just going to take the shade um, right here called light sculpt sculpt I'm just gonna take it on this brush and I'm just going to contour really light right here just gonna add a little bit to my forehead so now I'm gonna go into the it's my Ray Ray and BH cosmetics um, palette and I'm going to take the shade chai and mix a little bit of mocha into it and I'm just going to bronze my face just very lightly and then I am going to go on my nose a little bit with the shade mocha and just to add color to the center of my face i'm just gonna add some bronzer like that okay now for blush i'm going to use this rk by kiss bare blusher sweet cheeks palette and i'm just going to mix all three of the blush shades and i am just going to tap some onto my cheek and then pull it back in like circular motions and i'm also just going to take a little bit like this across my nose um kind of give it that summery look even though I'm doing a spring look, um, just to kind of give it that like pink in the middle. I'm going to go back in with the highlight and contour palette, um, and I'm going to take the shade Impulse right here for my highlight. This is phenomenal. Um, it is kind of glittery, but I kind of like it. Um, so, as you can see, it is super pretty. This actually looks so much better. Like, I'll do it like right after I spray like rose water on, and I forgot to do that. It looks so much better like that. I think I'm going to spray my brush just a little bit. It looks, see, it looks stunning when it's wet. So now for lips, I'm just going to go in with my favorite combination lately, which is these two right here. I tested these out in my last video and I cannot get enough. The lip liner is also really good. If I don't use this lipstick, I will use a um, I will use the lip liner and then just the um, gloss. I'm just going to add it pretty much just in the center of my face, though. I'm not going to in the center of my face, in the center of my lips. I'm not going to put it everywhere. I just do that and then I'll take my finger and 
tap it out a little bit. So that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to check out my last video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys want to see next down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.